I'm Philip Barnett, a uh, business owner in Cobb County. I've been here for uh, 11 years. I'm a transplant from uh, New York City. And uh, I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm here to ruffle feathers. That's what I do. Uh, basically, I do business where you live. If you live in Cobb County, I did business in your neighborhood. And I also work for Cobb County. Uh, in the water department, and he explained to me that uh, I will never work in Cobb County again. Uh, this was in uh, 2002, and uh, I decided to open my own business. So now I'm employing people in Cobb County. Cobb County states that they don't have funds to take care of the people, uh, and that pay taxes, that uh, help the police officers in, pre in Precinct 2. When the snow came, uh, I think it was last year, the year before, and they couldn't get up the hill, the same people that's going to get evicted are the same people that were pushing up the cars to get up the hill. QT, I spoke to them because they're one of my business partners, and uh, Six Flags. I went to Six Flags. So we could raise, I went to them so we could raise some funds for the people to move out. They're asking for $5,000 a piece, which we know moving out, if you owned a home before, $5,000 doesn't cut it. If you ask them for two grand, it's not going to work. So I'm willing to put up my next check that I'm going to get from the Hyatt to help support the movement of these people. Not that I have to do it, but I've been homeless before, and I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be hungry. You know, um, the, best, the best and worst time of my life was, the worst time was when the Twin Towers fell. But the best time was the day after when everybody was like, hooray, United States, let's work together. But we lost that. Right? Then we had the flood in Potter Springs, and the police couldn't respond. They couldn't respond because they was unprepared. These people are unprepared. But we still helped the people in Potter Springs. I gave them food with the Red Cross, but no one, I'm not asking for accolades. I'm not asking for awards. I'm asking for Cobb County to do the right thing because you do have the money. There's two stadiums going up in the, in the city, and that's like $3 billion. If you take less than 1%, that's $400,000, $5,000 can move the whole family, all the families out of there. So you can demolish it. You can do what you do because that's business. But they don't understand business. They understand I'm hungry now and I have to eat and I need shelter. And that's the basic needs for anybody. So let's trade places because I tried to do it last night, but I failed at it. I was so comfy in my home, I was going to sleep outside just to get that feeling back, how it feels to be homeless. But I couldn't do it because I was too comfy. So let's do this. Get the five commissioners, we go down to Magnolia Crossings, and let's spend the night in one of the apartments. If anybody's willing to do that. Because I'm willing to do it. I don't want to sleep outside, but that's what's going to happen in a couple of months. If anybody's willing to do it, let's do it. And Mr. Hankerson, if, if you're willing to employ any of the people in that area, do some job training, because that's, that's what I've been preaching from day one. If you don't feed the people now, they're going to come and eat at your plate. And you may not want to see the people that's going to be eating right next to you. So might as well give them a little bly so they can survive. And Mr. Tim Lee, I understand your, your pops was sick. And I understand that because my pops was sick when I was younger. But just imagine if your pops didn't have a place to stay at the end of the night. Because at the last commission meeting, you left because you had to see your pops. I can't go see my pops because he's not here no longer. But I know you know the right thing to do. And me and you know the same people, quiet as kept. But I'm letting you know now, if you don't do the right thing now, everybody in Cobb is going to suffer the consequences, whether it's big business, small business, whether it's your neighbor or not. But Adcock knows because his precinct, I do business with them also. But it's kind of shaky because at one time, I can shake the hand, but at the other hand, I can get arrested. I'm a business owner, but I'm also a black male. And that's not being spoken about, but the commissioner knows firsthand now. But I'm letting you know now, because I've been through gentrification four to five times already. It's not going to be a good thing for Cobb County if you let that Magnolia Croson go down and you got a pregnant woman with kids be out on the street. Next speaker, please. The next speaker is Laquan Wilson. Would okay? you please come Lisa. forward? Are you 
groaning in appreciation. Pardon?